Welcome to Dungeon Fork. This is a short tutorial video where I want to show you how the uh, pre-alpha build is working and what you can do with it. So, let's start with the left bar. In the left bar you can find the uh, draw tools where you can draw, edit, add props and change the stage. On the right you see uh, a button to switch to full screen. We have the dungeon mode you can change the shadow direction, you can clear the stage and we have the debug which is currently just for us. On the top you can change the color, uh, the setting, save to the database, save the image and you can sign out. So let's start with our first building. I click on draw and then I just start to add points to the stage. As soon as you close your draw tool we will render walls, floors and shadows. Here I will add another one and another one. All right. Let's put it here and there. Well, I don't like that shape a lot, so I will probably delete it. Uh, we have a shape list here where you can see all your rooms. They are currently just named room 0, 2, whatever. Um, by clicking on delete, we delete the room. So I will draw another one. Yeah, that one is better. Okay, great. So let's do another one. Let's do one here. Fine. As you see, the shape list expands with every room that you draw and you can click through all the rooms to select them. And you see this dashed outline tells you which room you've selected. And to the right, you can now choose uh, a floor texture. With uh, the shift key down and the mouse wheel, you can rotate your texture. And when you put down the control key and you use your mouse wheel, you can also zoom the texture. This feature is currently only working in uh, Firefox since we have to fix some issues with it in Internet Explorer and Chrome. So if you're testing our pre-alpha build, please use the Mozilla Firefox. All right, next let's add another room here and we will give that another texture soon. Okay, we will do a, a hallway right here and then we will add the hallway. Fine. Again, you see we have the different rooms. We select the room, we want to change the floor texture, we apply a new floor texture. With the shift key down and the mouse wheel, I rotate the texture and I will zoom it with control and mouse wheel. All right, let's do that one too. We want a bit of an entrance floor here. Okay, great. And let's start with the props. As soon as I select the prop list, the right bar changes and we now have different props to select, as for example, doors. We, at the moment, we have deactivated the snap to wall function because it's uh, not working properly and uh, causing some bugs here. So at the moment you could theoretically place a door anywhere. But again, if you rotate it and place it on the wall, you now have doors. Here I'm going to do a double-sided door, all right, need to aim a bit and click. Great. Let's do one down here. Again, shift mouse wheel to rotate, click. Okay. Here we have the prop list where you can select and deselect the props and make them visible so you can choose your props here. Okay. So next thing I want to show you is the stage. When you click the stage, again the left bar changes and you can choose uh, a background texture. 
let's take this one, I like this one best. And you can choose different wall textures. I prefer this one. And I will add some props. Let's do a window. Here a window and another one. Again, also windows will snap to walls as soon as we've activated that feature. So you don't have to aim anymore. All right, I don't like how I placed that window. Well, that was the wrong one. I think I deleted the window up there. Right, I need to scroll. It's that one I wanted to delete. We're currently working on an undo feature with control set, you can then undo it. And now let's do that one properly. I want to have it right in the middle. Okay, and one down here. Yeah, good. Well, I think we're done with Windows. You understand what we're doing here. So let's do some other props. Let's do a chair again. Shift and mouse wheel to rotate, control and mouse wheel to zoom. We can do props outside of the buildings, like here with the rock. We have stairs, downstairs. And upstairs. right you can adjust the shadow so you can you can decide the direction of the light if you prefer a different direction up here with the color selection you can change your whole setting so in our case we've changed it to a black and white setting and when I select the stage, I can also change the wall to just a straight black wall, which probably fits the setting better. Let's go back to color and let's select the standard wall texture. If I would hit clear stage, I would have cleared the stage. Now I will click save to database and I will do a save. So this map is now saved to your database and you can load it when you reopen the editor. And save image, now I've downloaded it as a JPEG. I will show you afterwards. And when I clear stage, that's it, gone. So let's look at the dungeon mode. When you click on dungeon mode, you can then start to draw things like the, if they were below the ground. So now we don't have walls, but we're stamping it out of the base, base ground texture, which I can change here. So now it looks like it's a dungeon beneath. And I can start to add things here, like a hallway, or let's do something like a cave in. There will be a tool where you can select walls and make them look like crumbled walls. But right now, um, this is not working as we want it to be. So we stick with just straight walls. You will see that probably in the alpha or in the beta build later. Okay. So clicking on the dungeon mode will shift to this, which is now above ground. I could draw something above ground here. I could do, again, a hallway and um, probably some chamber down here. Right, let's do something like that. Great. And we're finished. So that is basically what the current uh, pre-alpha build is about. And I hope you have fun with it. So. Enjoy and let us know what you think about it.